Hello, my name is Jason Chatfield. I'm a cartoonist and illustrator based in New York City. And today I'm gonna to show you a quick unboxing video of the new Wacom Cintiq Pro. A little bit of background on me. I've been using Wacom products for over 15 years across the whole range. I don't work for Wacom, but they do send me stuff to review and I demo their stuff at San Diego Comic Con and New York Comic Con and all around the place in the US, the UK and Australia. So subscribe and follow me on social and see more demos and product reviews. I always post stuff when they send me new products. You might have seen my review of the Mobile Studio Pro last year, which led to an awkward tech support phone call and proves that if if I did work for Wacom, I would have been fired by now. So today, I'm unboxing the long-awaited brand new Wacom Cintiq Pro 24. This range is the best Cintiq range yet. I've been waiting for this one for a long time. It's got a 4K display with 10-bit color, so that's a billion different shades, 8,192 levels of pressure sensitivity. I've been using this thing for two weeks and it is a beast. Uh, they sent me the 24 inch because I live in Manhattan and the 32 inch version would take up half of my apartment and I'd probably splash something on it while cooking dinner in my bedroom. Uh, also the 32 has been delayed due to supply chain issues so there's that but it will be coming out later in the year. So these models replace the current Wacom Cintiq 27 QHD which I've been using in my studio up until now. The Cintiq Pro range also already has a 13 and 16 inch version so they were released last autumn. You can already get those and they're definitely smaller more portable versions of this product so once you open up the box you can see that there's these instructions on the top they're actually digitally drawn instructions of all the different kind of setups that you can use with this product so you can just plug it straight in with USB-C you can have HDMI or display point or wh whatever you're using it shows you how to set it up including how to use the stands and the fancy little feet at the back and a pretty cool new feature that I'll tell you about in just a sec so we'll take it out of the box and chuck it on the desk. Yes, I'm putting a drawing tablet on a drawing board, get over it. It has these fancy little legs at the back so that you can prop it up at a different angle if you want to. Okay, so this is pretty exciting. If you flip over the Cintiq, you see this cavity at the back and that's not just where you plug in all the cables. If you want, that can also hold the new Cintiq Pro Engine, which is a modular Windows 10 PC specifically made for the demands of 3D, VR and AR workflows. Uh, there's two separate versions. I'm going to put the specs on the screen now so you can pause them and read them here. I'll also put them in the description below if you can't read them on the screen here. Don't quote me on the prices here because they may change but these are the prices at this stage with these two separate versions but both of them use the new Nvidia Quattro P3200. Wacom is the only company to integrate this card into a computer and it's incredible. I'm not going to review that today. I'm just gonna show you how to plug in a laptop and use this Cintiq without the engine. But uh, jump onto Wacom.com if you wanna find out more about that. If you look in the box, you can see that Wacom has provided a wealth of cabling options, including HDMI, DisplayPort, and USB-C. Uh, you can use any of these setups, but I'm gonna use USB-C today. Okay, if you look into the box, you can see you've got a whole range of things here to use. One of my favorites is the magical donut. It's a pen holder, but I'm going to show you why it's a magical donut in a second. But first, my favorite thing about this Cintiq, apart from the screen, is the pen. It's the Pro Pen 2. This is the best pen I think I've ever used on any Cintiq product. It has four times the accuracy of the Pro Pen I've been using on the Cintiq 27 QHD. It also has four times the pressure sensitivity as well as pen tilt recognition. And most importantly, it doesn't need batteries and it doesn't need to be charged. You can also get the new ProPen 3D as an accessory, which is pretty cool for 3D programs. You could buy that separately. Now, back to my magical donut. Here's why it's magic. You flip it over, you put the nib in there, and then it pulls out the nib like magic. Look at that. Then you twist open the back of it, and guess what? Magical nibs inside the magical donut. It's pretty amazing. I like to use the felt tip nib because it gives you a little bit more friction on the screen. There's already a matte finish on the screen, but then this gives it that little bit extra more sort of pencil on paper feel. You got the remote here. You can assign all your keyboard shortcuts and use that and it's magnetic so it can stick on the side of the Cintiq. You've also got a little USB cable with it that charges it because it does go flat every now and then. It stays charged for quite a while though. You got a little manual here and a little wipey cloth, which you might need if you don't use one of those gloves. I didn't actually know what this thing was when I got the Mobile Studio Pro until someone in the comments told me it's a pen holder. You put your, you put it on the top and then you put your pen. It's magic again. You put your pen in there and it's magic. 
and even if you don't like it sticking out like that, you can put it in on the side. Amazing. It's actually pretty handy because I've lost two pens already. Now, I have a late 2017 MacBook Pro, which means, of course, you only have those two little USB-C slots on the side. That's all you actually need. You can just plug the Cintiq straight into the USB slot there, and then the other power one into the other USB slot. You have USB ports, and you also have the SD card slot on the side, as well as an audio jack. So you don't really lose ports by filling in both these. If you really want to do it differently, you know, and you've got an older MacBook Pro, you can plug in using HDMI and USB, that's fine. Or you can get one of these Wukon Thunderbolt adapters from Amazon, and that plugs in using those two USB in the side, USB-C. And then you can plug in two USB-C at the top, you can plug in HDMI, you can plug in two USBs, you can plug in an SD card. If you really want to, you can use that, but I'm just going to plug it in normally with a USB-C and then I'm going to find the source, tell it it's coming from USB-C, and then it's just going to show the image and it's amazing. This screen is incredible. I've been using it for two weeks and I can't stop looking at it. It's an incredible 4K display with 10-bit color, so a billion different shades. And it's the new optical bonding process that really reduces that parallax. So that distance between where your pen is touching the screen and where it shows up, where the cursor shows up. There's no more parallax. It's kind of amazing. And it feels like pencil on paper. There's a sort of an etched glass matte finish to the screen. And it's really cool. I wish this camera could do it justice. I'm really struggling to show you exactly how clear this is. But I'm just trust me when I say this is the clearest screen that I've ever used. Even Wacom or not, any screen of any kind, this is insanely clear and I love it. So, chuck your remote on the side there, you can assign your little keyboard shortcuts and the rocker ring and everything in the preferences. Grab your pen, calibrate that on the screen using the driver. You can uh, also assign shortcuts to the, to the pen. I assign mine to making the brush bigger and smaller and then you can just use it straight away. There's no lag. I did have have one little problem with Photoshop initially with lag, uh, but I turned off use graphics processor and that fixed it completely. There's no lag. So if you do have any problems with it, that's one fix that worked for me. Now, the big question, how much are they? Well, I made the mistake last time of putting prices on the review and that was bad because it kept on changing. And by the, I don't know when you're gonna be looking at this video. It might be five years from now. I have no idea how much it's gonna be. It depends. So go to the US store.wacom.com and check out the prices. It comes out this week. Make sure you check out all the details on wacom.com. I'll try and answer any of your questions in the comments. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos and Wacom information and live drawing stuff. Stay tuned, follow me on social, and thanks for watching.